Greetings to everyone from the Omega Institute. It is July 3rd, 2021. It is not open yet, but it feels so good to be here. It feels so good. Oh my God. And yet, I'm standing here in front of Juniper and the sanctuary. I'm in the sanctuary of the Omega Institute, July 3rd, 2021. It's been almost two years since I've been here, and it is still closed due to the pandemic. I've come up today, passing through to pay a visit, and I was caught by surprise by the incredible chi and energy I felt on the premises as soon as I stepped out of the car. The parking lot is empty. There's hardly a soul here except for a few workers. Yet, the chi, the energy is palpable. I'm here now for prayer, health, restitution of body, mind, and spirit. Before I continue on with my day, I wanted to invite in those practitioners of recovering the way to join me. Aligning, dropping, putting down everything that we think that we're holding that we need, which is our phone, our lives, our daily lives, our cars, our kids, our bank accounts, the jobs, our expectations, our money, our lack of money, our worries, our lack of worries. Put it all down just for a moment and feel it rolling off. Check in. Check in with the shoulders. Check in with the hips. Drop the tailbone. God, higher power, I offer myself to you, to build with me, and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self, that I might better do thy will. Those of us that have worked, tried, fought, played to lose our compulsions, must then work with what we have left. Some of it is automatic, autonomic, physiological. By quieting the breath and relaxing the extremities, we have an effect upon the central nervous system, which then has effect upon the autonomic nervous system. which regulates whether we are in a state of stress or relaxation. 
The chi built up at the Omega Institute still permeates the sanctuary, the epiphany of where people come to release burden and find hope is still here. Opening, sensing chi. Feel the environment, feel the temperature of the room. Turn the hands down toward the floor. Let them waft behind, turn around and come up. Cycles of life, cycles of the day, cycles. The only thing constant is the fact that these cycles do have the propensity to occur over and over. Whether they will or whether they won't in our own lives is partly an act of surrender, submission to the natural processes. Aligning ourselves with powers greater than ourselves takes a degree of stopping the normal and tuning in to the ephemeral. We're going to do some of the recovering the way movements, this one being just moving. What is just moving anyway? In integral Qigong, we call this move flowing motion. In recovering the way, we call it just moving. It's about as simple a move as we can imagine. So for those of us that would say, well, I can't do Qigong, I can't do Tai Chi, I can't do meditation, if we can bring our hands up in a soft manner, turn them and come down, and then watch as they turn around again, we can do just moving. So this move originated with a little clip and a quip I heard by Alan Watts years ago. And Alan Watts said something to this effect talking about just sitting in Zen. And just sitting is the process of sitting with back straight, legs folded, hands in front cupped, and stopping the thinking process. And he said that it's probably one of the most boring things that a human can do. And I, I laugh and I agree with that. That's, that's so true. And not only that, it's not much fun. But what is it that we're trying to attain in just moving? It's a sense of wordlessness. It's a sense of experiential. It's a sense of quietude. It's a sense of tuning into the transcendent, whatever that would mean to us. And in just moving, we can do that by noticing the feelings in our fingers, noticing that sense that we develop of chi, of like moving through honey, watching the body cantilever as we move toward our feet, and then the cerebellum balancing us as we come back toward our heels, dropping the tail into the floor, head rising. As we do this, a sense of wordlessness starts to overtake us. Carl Sandburg had a poem so many years ago, 
fog comes in like little cat's feet. This is kind of a fog, but not a confusing fog, not a mysterious fog in the sense of having to figure it out. What we're tuning into is the 90% below the waterline, the non-thinking part of our existence, the co-creator of our being, the corpus, the body. As we do this, we start to abate cortisol. We start to generate oxytocin and bring serotonin levels up. And the mind watches in amazement and see what we can do to attain that sense of wordlessness, that sense of a continuum with a connection of a universe greater beyond that of ourselves of which we are part of. Just moving. The heart, the tongue, the brain start to move towards some feeling of integration. Scientifically, we would say coherence. The proprioceptive part of us is making an appearance that we actually feel how the body is articulating itself as we move that the cerebellum is doing its incredible work. Interoception, a feeling of the physiology of life, interpreted as chi, feeling the blood move, the lymph system pulsating and moving toxins and fluid through the body, the nervous system quieting. We may even be able to tune into the digestive system and notice that the entire thorax is as if in a state of quiet. I have gone to seven, eight thousand meetings, ten thousand meetings, spoken at institutions over 600 times to thousands and thousands of people in recovery, both in 12-step through Alcoholics Anonymous and through Al-Anon. And without a doubt, the chief complaint, chief complaint is not the addiction to the other people. It is not the addiction to the substances, although that is what we talk about. It is a chronic, unabating sense of anxiety, a chronic, unyielding, ever-present, thumping, banging sense of an inability to quiet down. And like a great ocean liner that takes hours to turn in the ocean, it takes the body several minutes of doing this to start to settle, but it will. So if there is an addiction to that anxiety, which we say we don't like, we will have problems with this. But the pain of staying the same has got to be greater than the fear of change. And when we've had enough, we've had enough. 